So here we go with Arcane. I don't know much about it at all. It's just been very, very highly recommended. Nice slice of life show <laughs> to replace first fruit basket, the fruit basket slot on the channel. Okay. It looks pretty cool so far. It's not a relation, is it? It's a relation, isn't it? It's one way to start a relationship, I guess. This is a world. It's definitely a world. Very intense. <laughs> Alright, well that's at a tone. <laughs> and the, the opening? Getting some Metal Gear Solid vibes from this for some reason. Metal Gear Solid 2. And then also like a Squaresoft series or something like that. I guess it is a video game, right? It's connected to League of Legends. I do sort of love the, the visual so far. I don't think I've watched a good like fantasy show that wasn't a superhero show in a long time. Arcane. League of Legends, right? Episode one. And now some levity, please. <laughs> the kids joined a ragtag group of thieves. Hey, Powder. Come take a look. This is the girl, right? That we saw in the intro. This is very Squaresoft. It's so, so Final Fantasy. Love it. There's your airship that you will later ride in disc four. One day, I'm gonna ride in one of those things. Yeah, <laughs> she will. One of them down. Maybe he will too. I don't know. They're gonna get caught. They're gonna notice. I've seen this RPG opening before. <laughs> and like an RPG, they have superhuman jump abilities. You think anyone topside's going hungry? Besides, this is exactly the sort of job Bander would have pulled when he was our age. Yeah, they seem like pretty unprepared, green, ill-equipped. Who locks their balcony? I do. What are they after exactly? We finally got to the basement and we found books and gadgets. Must be an inventor. I think this is a real Valdiani. Uh, of course it is. Oh yeah. Who doesn't know a Val Valdiani when they see one? That's a nose hair nose trimmer. I knew it was a nose hair trimmer. It was a tip from Little Man. Little Man? Just leave it. Come on. Are they here to like rob the place? I feel like there's some something of greater value to be found. Someone's got to kickstart the plot, right? What could they find? Who just leaves a sandwich like that on a... Okay. Is this it? What exactly is this thing? What did she just do? That was more than just an explosion, right? So if I know my RPGs, this chase either ends with them jumping on a train or some other kind of vehicle, or they meet uh, a guardian who takes an interest in them, or Powder uses these stones that will launch the journey. But first you gotta beat some level five guards just to get the hang of the battle system. A boat would do it. They could escape on a boat. Okay, we just skipped the boat. <laughs> The guards in this city seem a lot less willing to use lethal force than the guards in the intro. I'm guessing that was some kind of like Imperial Alliance or something like that. The sewers! How could I have missed that? I didn't do anything. Could fill a damn library with she brought down the do. whole building. Oh, but this is going to turn into so much more than just a heist. Just money. You're tracking this mess of yours through my streets. Your streets? What makes you think- We don't want any trouble, okay? That always works, yeah. <laughs> but we don't want any trouble line. Yep, this is a lot. I don't know if she was ready. Just Where left his friends? Yeah, she didn't really need to run. I need you. Is that a grenade? Oh, okay. But now we know where it is, at least. I get my face bashed in and she just gets a pass. That is sort of... Rough. And the day like that. What was it all for? Just a, a orgy of evidence that this world is dark and not for children. 
This guy's not cut out for this world. He's not cut out for this district. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> this, uh, uh, this Looks like it's been chewed on. Isn't what we agreed on, so... You folks need anything? Leave us. You sure about that? This is the guy we saw in the intro as well. So you're Vander. Vander. That's Vander. How about you just give Huck the rest of what you owe him, and I'll let you walk out of here in one piece. Huck, or whatever his name is, really lucked out. <coughs> this is oh, embarrassing. <laughs> Learn to love it. Yeah, this is just not a world for children, or people who look like university psychology professors. Vander learns none of this. No worries there. He already knows. He saw your face. It's all over your face. He knows. What the hell were you thinking? Whoops. We stay out of Piltover's business. Why? They've got plenty while we're down here scraping together coins. When did you get so comfortable living in someone else's shadow? Very bold. Very direct. It's been a day in their lives. Those kids look up to you. Yeah, I know. You know, but you don't know. I feel like Vander's gonna die. Just like that feeling. These are our streets. Someone should remind them of You're that. You're not hearing me. That path? This? It's not gonna solve your problems. Yeah, a lot of what she's, what she's coming from is anger, bitterness. We're gonna be fine, right? I'll take care of it. Immaturity really showing. Hey, hey, that's mine. You wanna be treated like adults, right? I think you should know better than to come back from a job empty-handed. <laughs> It's really taking this matter to heart. You're right. There's a bunch of things Powder just can't do. Whoops. Like complain about everything. What? And brag nonstop. Okay, okay. That timing was just horrendous. Why are you mucking about with this? I assume you've heard. Did you fish out of the river? The younger folk think it's the right thing to do. Yeah. And Vi's one of them. Throws herself at trouble. Trying to impress him. Find some. There's worse things than enforcers out there. We both know that. Right, I mean, it's not about sides or where you live. There's opportunists everywhere. Oh, crap. Here comes the Empire. We're looking for the culprits. Oh, I know her. I know her voice actress. She's in uh, The Expanse. Very distinct voice. Cool off of it. <laughs> Go. No, it's mine, kid. There's a moment I have down. Some things are the same topside. Yeah, I guess you don't survive without having connections, right? The council needs someone to make an example. Yeah, they definitely picked the big target. Safe. Yeah. Big moment for Vander. I can't do that. You don't seem to grasp how serious this is. I feel like he's already made a lot of concessions. He's not exactly what the kids think he is. We both know how that'll go. I'm it's sorry. Been, it's for survival, right? But I can't offer up my own people. Here are some principles, at least. But this just invited a lot of hell upon this little little world, this little slum world. Nobody said that. She's just too young. She's like four years old. I'm not a fighter. You don't have to be. You really shouldn't be. I guess they don't have school in this world. We've all had bad days. But we learn. And we stick together. If you really care about her, stop bringing her on these missions. These were in my pocket. They're for me. Pocket. These, yeah, building, destroying grenades, just lugging them around with me. And one day, this city's going to respect us. You're you're endangering this girl. <laughs> She's just a kid herself. This guy comes from a loving household. Nice aquarium though. You were supposed to follow them and not interfere. The parallel there, getting a little bit ahead of himself, trying to impress his superior. And that's not a risk I'm willing to take. This is red eye. I'll keep him off the streets. This guy seems friendly. Yep. Enemies from all directions, I guess. A little parasite for good measure. Immediately know this guy's evil, just from, you know, the ability to harm animals. I'm just, I don't know if it's intentional or, or not. Maybe I'm just bugging out, but I'm seeing RPG references everywhere in this show. All right, so automatically hate this guy. Huh. So I have some mixed feelings about the first episode. There's a lot of good, and there's some things that are not as good. So anyway, what I liked about it, it's really exciting to me just to see like a fantasy setting that matches my experiences playing like old RPGs. I remember like craving and dreaming of having more like that in the world. And it's exciting to me in that sense that video games have become so mainstream to the point where what was once what felt like a really, really niche thing now feels mainstream. It's sort of excellent. 
it's been a long time coming. I'm like watching this and I'm seeing traces of, of all these games I played in my childhood and adolescence and it's really exciting. Visually, it's beautiful. There's a lot of attention to detail. The world looks great. That intro was really visually appealing. I'm typically not a huge fan of this style of animation, this sort of like surrealist CG, but this actually looks nice and is non-distracting if that makes sense. And the, the landscapes, the world itself looks really nice. I like the intrigue. You could see how there's a lot of stuff beneath the surface. You know, there's like the fact that this is going to kick a lot of things off. It almost feels like a, a Game of Thrones moment. You know, what's his name? The, the boss dude drawing a line in the sand and not giving up his underlings. You know that's going to have huge consequences. You know that's going to have major repercussions that are awful. And I do feel like he will die as a result of this. You know, in many ways, this episode feels like the calm before the storm. You obviously have a lot of different sides. You have the intrigue of like it not being as clear cut as like upper crust, bottom crust, which was an initial fear I had. You see that it's all interconnected and it's going to be more about the players, I'm guessing, than the sides. There is going to be good and evil on all levels, probably, which is, is good. The action also seems to be there. I think when the emotional stakes and the characters mean more to me, that will become a lot greater, which leads me to some of the things that did not land with me so well. I feel like what it's missing for me so far is characters that I really feel connected to. I mean, it's only the first episode, that's a lot to ask, but so far they feel a little bit generic and also they don't seem to match the tone that's set. Like, I think the show is going really, really hard on the idea that this is a dark world and there's something about going that hard on it that, that actually lessens its effect, if you know what I mean. And there's something incongruous to me about the fact that this world is so sleazy and so grimy and so dark and so decrepit, yet you have these little kids doing this huge mission. I mean, I'm saying this with no knowledge of League of Legends, so, you know, maybe that's just appropriate, but there's like this obsession with darkness that ends up actually in a weird way being less adult to me than things that are maybe glossier on the surface or, you know, more lifelike. But I definitely do want to watch more. I feel like the episode did a great job establishing the world and the setting, and that's no small task. And so now, hopefully we can get into the characters some more and get into like the really, really good stuff so that the events in the world feel more significant and I can like really, really get into it. So yeah, that's the end of the first of nine episodes. I will see you guys next time when the upper crust of the pizza comes raining down upon the, the citizens of Sector 7.